So now we're going to get into the street smart part of the class. These are the two things that we're going to be talking about a little bit later. So street smart equals wisdom, the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. In my opinion, street smarts kicks butt over book smarts. Charlie Brown, in the book of life, the answers aren't in the back. They're not. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, in this song, it's a really good song, but he's talking about a grandpa talking about relationships with his grandkids, with women. Okay, don't get it. But street smarts definitely comes with experience. The older we get, the more experiences we have, the better street smarts we get. Street smarts comes from experience, and you've learned what has happened to you, whether it's good or bad, and you learn to improve from it. Book smarts without street smarts can lead to pretense or an attempt to make something that is not the case appear true. So in, our, in investing, it's forecasting, predicting, and market timing are excellent ways to invest. They're not. Book smarts can confuse pretense with reality, often learning from experience. After the fact, you buy all these books about stock picking and market timing, and then you do it for a period of time and you figure out for yourself, it doesn't work over time. You might get lucky now and then, but it doesn't work over time. So you have the know what and the know why, but the know how is non-existent. Being street smart doesn't mean you are uneducated or unintelligent. Some of the smartest people in the world are street smart people. Being street smart doesn't mean, it does mean you have situational awareness. You know what's going on. Now thinking about things, that has value, right? If we sit in a room and we ponder and we read a book and we look at things. But imagining how you're handle, gonna handle a tough situation is a world away from actually going through that tough situation, from just reading about it. Here's a quote from the movie The Fight Club. Tyler Durden, he says, how much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? If you're a fighter. How much can you know about yourself if you're an investor if you've never been through a downturn in the market? It's tough. Some of you have been around for 10, 15, 20 years with us. You've been through all those downturns, through all those years. You have that experience. You have that knowledge. You have that wisdom. You have that street smarts. Being street smart means you can trust your own judgment on what matters. So being street smart or book smart or both? What's the answer? What's the answer? It's both. Exactly. Book smarts and street smarts both are necessary for success. Street smart comes from actually doing the task or the work that others just read about. These first-hand experiences develop your knowledge and understanding of the world. Chris Wallace interviewed this, this girl just recently, and this girl is just super, super book smart. College grad, you know, the, the highest honors, and she found out really quickly after she graduated that she didn't have the street smarts. Remember when you graduated from school and went out in the real world and had to figure out by yourself how to deal with all sorts of practical problems? Well, now millennials face those same challenges, but they're getting a big helping hand. Here's our Power Player of the Week. It hit me how educated I was, but how just underprepared I was. All of the things that you know you need to know when you get out there, but along the way, never learned. Genevieve Ryan is talking about three years ago at age 26, when after graduating from Princeton and getting law and business degrees from Georgetown, she started work at a big New York investment firm. 
What didn't she know? Within finance, everything from checking accounts to investing, health care, everything from health insurance to mental health to finding a new doctor, um, living on your own, things like renter's insurance, understanding how to find an apartment, sign a lease. Ryan and her team interviewed over a thousand college seniors and recent graduates and found out she wasn't alone. Every person we spoke to said, I have no idea what I'm doing, and when I have to deal with something in the real world, I call my parents, and that's a problem. Meet Real World Playbook. Hey you, ready to learn about life in the real world? A website Ryan and now a staff of six have set up to help young people make the transition from school to living on their own. We have built a GPS for adulthood. Here's the things you need to do to be successful, here's how you can set them up, and here's who's out there who can help you. The website is free and offers advice and links to all sorts of practical information. For instance, the 50-30-20 strategy for budgeting. You know, after tax, if you make, let's say, 1500 a month, so for people just starting out, you can put 750 towards necessities, you have 450 to put towards wants, and you've got 300 you want to put towards your saving. I wish I'd known this about 50 years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so how does Ryan make money? They license an online course called Real World Ready to universities and employers that teaches practical skills. Parents can buy the three and a half hour course for their kid for fifty dollars. Here she is making her pitch at Princeton. This life transition is a rite of passage and we all have valuable lessons and perspectives to pay forward. Ryan says a couple of thousand people have gone through the program so far and they're counting on new customers around graduation this spring. It's one of those things where the buck stops nowhere. Where are you supposed to learn these things? Parents think that their kids learn it in school. Schools think that they learn it at work, and work thinks by the time you've gotten there, you must know what a 401k is, you must know what health insurance is. Yeah, you must know it all already, right? But we know that, we know that. You know, you look back at your 15, 16, 17, 18 year old, 19 year old kids and grandkids, and you see, they have a lot of book smarts, a lot of them, but they don't have the street smarts at this point in time. My opinion, street smarts trumps all other factors, especially in investing. These are all the book smarts I taught you at the beginning of the class. Know your risk, reduce hidden costs and turnover, worldwide diversification, asset class diversification, and rebalancing on highs and lows. But if you don't have the street smarts and you don't have the ability to ignore the forecasters and you don't have that relentless discipline in if provided you're already prudently invested, you know, you could take this portfolio and you could just, we, Scott and I can create a beautiful diversified portfolio for you and you can just blow it up. Because <laughs> that's what people do when they panic or when they you know make big mistakes or they get caught up in fraud but fortunately Scott and I we can put it back together for you